For this video, I am going to show you how to add a CNAME record to your GoDaddy domain. So first, just open your web browser and go to godaddy.com. And if you haven't already, just log into your account by clicking on the sign in button in the upper right corner of the screen. Enter your email and password and hit sign in. So once logged in, click onto your name in the upper right corner of your screen right here and go to the My Products session or click onto the My Products. And this will take you to your or to this page right here. So then what you need to to do is to click on to your website or to your domain and let it load for a few seconds so now what you need to do next is to click on to the domain on the left side part of your screen and click manage dns now once you are on this page what you need to do is to simply hit this add new record button right here just, just to make sure first that you are under the dns so you should be able to have three options right here so again just click on to the dns and click add new record so after clicking add then you'll see a drop down where you need to choose the type of dns record that you want to create so right here just simply click see name so it sh there should be a drop down option or drop down menu that will appear so you might not be able to see the drop down menu for mine but it is or it that will be available for yours if you basically do the same process that i am doing right now so now after selecting CNAME from the list, a CNAME record is used again, it used to point a subdomain to another domain, making it easier to connect services. So now let's fill in the details for the CNAME record. So for the name, this is where you enter the subdomain you want to create. So for example, if you are adding www to point to a different domain type, or www in this type or, or in this field right here so just hit that or select that or just type that in there and alternatively if you are setting up a subdomain like blog.yourdomain.com so just simply type in blog on this section right here so there you go so now just enter the part of the domain that comes before the main domain name so the now for the next option or the next value right here which is the value so this is where you point your subdomain so just enter the domain that you want to link to so for example if you are pointing www to another hosting provider just enter the address they provided like example that other domain.com so that is the value or the information that you need to fill in in the section under the value section now for the ttl so this basically means that time to live so ttl determines how long the dns record stays cached so by default godaddy sets it to one and a half hour so you can also set it to one hour which is usually fine for most cases so you can leave it at one and a half hours or one hour i'm going to do one hour unless you have specific requirements so now after filling in the name value and also the ttl fields just simply save or click onto the save button to save your new c name record so godaddy will now add the record to your dns settings so after hitting save just keep in mind that dns changes are not instant so you can take anywhere from a few minutes to up to 48 to 48 hours for the changes to propagate across the internet typically it is much faster but it depends on your isp and how their caching works so that's basically it those are all the steps that you need to do for it to be able to add a CNAME record in your godaddy.com so i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button thank you so much for watching and have a great day